What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So at this point I think that all of the people that are somewhat interested in art probably saw either on Instagram or on YouTube something like art subscription boxes. And there are honestly quite a few options to choose from but I've been always wondering if I should order them, if they would be worth the money. Because the tricky part is, for those that don't know what the subscription box is, that you kind of don't know what you're paying for. You know that you're gonna get some art supplies, but you don't know exactly what kind of supplies. And that's the whole fun and excitement about this. But on the other hand, it might be a huge disappointment if you get a box with the supplies that you don't like. So well, considering all the pros and cons of getting an art subscription box, eventually I decided to try it out. And today, as you can already tell, I'm gonna be testing the scroller box, which is in fact one of the most popular options. So well, I'm really excited to see what's inside of the first ever art subscription box that I ordered, so if you are as excited as me to see what's inside, then let's just get straight into today's video. So here's the scroller box for the month of May, and let's just open it up. First of all, there is a little scroller box sticker and a little card with all the supplies for this month, which is quite cool. Then we have a pilot printer marker in gold, then the same marker but in turquoise. Next one is also a pilot printer marker but a black one and a bit smaller than the previous ones. Next on, something very interesting, a Molotov liquid chrome marker. Then another pilot printer marker in white and this one is the smallest of them all. Then we have a Milan graphite pencil and a Milan square shaped eraser. There's also a cute little mint candy and an awesome artwork by C. Mitchell. I'm gonna tag him down in my description box. And you guys, I totally love this artwork and wow, I was really amazed by it. And last of all, there are two sheets of Canaletto paper as I read afterwards. So now let's get to my favorite part, swatching. I'll just take one of the sheets of the paper from the box and test all the supplies on it and probably do some sketches. I'll start off with the golden marker. As you can see, it's this kind of marker that requires a little bit of pressing it against the surface of the paper so the liquid can flow easily and it can just go down through the marker. So let me just quickly do that. And wow, I'm actually surprised how opaque this color is. And uh, I wasn't, you know, expecting that since those markers are water-based. So, well, nice one. Next, I'm doing the same procedure with the turquoise marker and this one was just as opaque as the previous marker. The black marker was the same as the two previous ones that I tested, but this one is just a little bit thinner. The white marker is obviously barely visible on the paper, but it was quite opaque still when I tried to layer it on the gold marker, so I was really, really positively surprised about it. And now let's finally try the liquid chrome Molotov marker, because I'm super, super curious how this one is gonna look on the paper. And I'm just gonna do the same thing like with all the previous ones, I'm just gonna press it a little bit against the surface so the liquid can flow down through the nib. And wow you guys, this marker, I didn't expect that. It's like a liquid mirror on the paper. And honestly, liquid chrome is a really good name for this one because I thought that it would be just a metallic marker, you know, with a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of glitter. But this is something different. This is like a liquid mirror effect and wow, I'm really impressed. And lastly, I'm just testing quickly the pencil and the eraser and they seem just fine and nothing special, just a simple pencil and eraser. And I'm just gonna do the thumbnail initial sketch of the idea that came to my mind right after I saw the supplies for this month. Well, the gold and turquoise color might not be my favorite color combination, but it definitely gave me the summer vibe feeling and that is why today I really wanted to try to draw a summer girl that is about to go to the beach, she's having fun, she's just enjoying herself and enjoying being in the sun. And even though the theme of the month was a paper tiger, which in fact I realized afterwards, I kind of didn't want to limit myself both to the theme of the month and the supplies that were in this month's box. Of course I wanted the scroller box supplies to be the main focus of the drawing, but I felt like pressuring myself to use only these might be very limiting and knowing myself I would probably struggle a lot and I don't think I would be happy with the result if I used only the supplies from the box. 
So now let me tell you my first impression of the scroller box experience and how I like the idea of subscription boxes. And honestly, I didn't expect myself to like it this much. I really love the feeling of being surprised with the supplies that you're getting this exact month. And this is something that is really unique and uh, I actually really enjoyed it. And even though I was scared that I'm gonna get something that I don't like, the feeling of being surprised is actually compensating for the fact that those supplies weren't those that I would pick up in the shop. And honestly speaking, those pinter markers were quite cool and they were interesting to use, but I probably won't gravitate towards them in the future because they are just a little bit too clumsy and a little bit too thick to use in my future artworks. And also I rarely use water-based markers, so this is the supply that I probably won't use. However, the white marker is probably gonna be useful for me because I can use it to do some highlights or some distressed parts in denim, so this one is a yes for me. Other than that, I really love the Molotov Chrome marker and this one I'm gonna 100% use in the future because I can use it to do some kind of silvery areas in my drawings, like jewelry or some parts in the clothing, so this one also is a yes for me and I'm really happy that I got it. And then the eraser, pencil and the paper. These were just okay, but I have plenty of erasers and pencils and papers and those weren't that spectacular that I'm gonna gravitate towards them in the future. So these were just okay, but they won't become my favorites.
and that wraps up my today's video and what do you guys think was this box worth the money did you like the supplies that i received in it and maybe some of you also ordered this box so let me know in the comments if you like art subscription boxes and if you're actually subscribed to one or maybe a couple let me know and for those of you that maybe tried one or two boxes sometimes let me know what your experience was and if you were satisfied with the products received i'm super curious to hear you out in the comment section i'm gonna read all the comments like always so make sure you leave something down below and well that will be pretty much all for today's video make sure to leave a like if you actually enjoyed my today's video and also you can subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all the new future videos and well that will be all thank you guys so so much for watching i love you all and i can't wait to see you in my next videos take care you guys bye I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now